Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be sharing my favorite products that I've been loving throughout the month of May. I've got quite the roundup of things. I've got makeup, hair, skin, nails, fashion, home decor, and a book. We've got everything today, so I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe and let's get started. I do quickly wanna mention that everything that I talked about last month, I am still very much loving. I went to go grab things and then I was like, wait, I think I shared this in my last favorite. So keep that in mind. If you want more favorites and you missed the last one, go check it out because all of that stuff, I am very heavily still very much so enjoying. So to begin with makeup, I have been really, really loving my MAC eyeshadows. Perfect, one just fell. This is a palette that I put together with all of my favorite single shadows. If you'd like a video where I break down all of these shadows, let me know. I also have my cool toned palette here. Let me grab it. I have just been loving going back to basics with makeup and going back to basic favorites. I've got the warm palette and the cool palette. I'm actually wearing shadows from both of these palettes today on my eyes and I did film this, so stay tuned for that. I've just been wanting more nostalgic vibes with makeup and with YouTube and this is just helping me feel that way and like give me all the warm fuzzies. So um, I can definitely do a video on like what's in these palettes if you're interested. Um, but the only thing is I feel like MAC eyeshadows just don't really swatch very well. They're very sheer. They're very, um, they're just lackluster when you swatch them, but they really pack a punch when you apply them on the eyes. So I've always been hesitant to like break down these palettes because I know everyone wants like a beautiful swatch. These aren't gonna give that to you for the most part. Um, I, I know they're more like powder pigment ones will, but I don't know. I just feel like the swatch isn't there, but the, the products are amazing. So if you want a breakdown on those, let me know. I can do that. I've been talking about doing that for like a year. So if you want that, let me know. But um, I've been using them a lot more recently and I've just been really enjoying them and they give me all of the feels. More shadows that I've been loving is this palette from Patrick Ta. This is the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette. This is so good. I have just been grabbing this recently. It gives me such a beautiful everyday look but I can also amp up my look with this very easily. These shimmer shadows, I'm usually not that much of a fan of, but recently I've been using them a lot more lately and I just pop them on with my finger and it's so beautiful. My favorite shades in the palette are this one here. This is like a matte brown with like a little bit of a glitter reflect in it. Same with this, this looks like a matte, it's kind of like a matte white with a sparkle to it and those two together on my eyes are so Stunning, they're just so beautiful and they look matte, but then when you're in the sun, you can see the sparkle. It's just so pretty. So I have been using this nonstop. I have to admit though, I have never used the cream shades over here. I'm not a fan of when makeup companies put cream products in a powder palette. It's just a weird combo for me. So I haven't used that, but everything else, I'm obsessed with. The only downside of this is that it is like $5 million. I just cannot. Why is it so expensive? I don't know, but I love it. But why are you so expensive? Anyways, moving on. This is kind of random, another bougie ass product. Um, this lip gloss from Dior. This is probably expired. I've had this for quite some time. Um, and the reason I think it's expired is because the packaging has changed, but it's beautiful. This is their like um, lip maximizer, lip plumper. I've been loving this lip gloss. It looks beautiful on my lips without any product on. It looks beautiful on like a neutral lip. It's just gorgeous and it's, it's just so beautiful. And Dior, especially Dior lip products are very nostalgic to me because when I first started working at Sephora, it was such a bougie brand that like, you know those makeup brands that like, you don't even wanna like touch it cause they're just so beautiful and like, you don't wanna mess anything up. Like that was Dior for me. So I would go in five minutes early before every shift and I would grab their hot pink lip gloss. I'd bring it to the back and apply it with like the tester lip gloss applicator and on my break, I would touch it up and that was like my go-to lip product. I should go rebuy that cause it was like this beautiful hot pink color and I would just put it on like my, my natural lips. So stunning. Anyway, so this just gives me the feels. It gives me, it, it brings me back to that time like when I was first starting getting, first started getting into makeup and all of that. So, 
Um, I've just been really loving this and I use it all the time. Okay, this was a recommendation from you guys. This is the Naturium Virgin Marula Oil. I ran out of my Drunk Elephant Oil and you guys were saying that this is like identical and I'd have to agree with you. I think I actually like this one better. Naturium is such a great brand. I kind of like forgot about it. They actually sent me a bunch of their like core line when they first launched and there was a lot of things that I used that I really liked, but I ended up giving away this oil when they sent it because I had two of the drunk elephant one and I didn't want to want it to go bad. So I gave it away to someone else that would really enjoy it. And then when I ran out of my drunk elephant one, I was like, damn it, I regretted giving away that stuff. So anyways, long story short, I picked this up again. I've been loving it. It's awesome. It's literally the same thing, if not better. I like everything about it. It's amazing. So the way that I apply this is at nighttime after I've done all of my skincare, it's kind of like the topper and I've been doing like the lymphatic drainage with this. Um, in the morning before a workout, I'll put a little bit of this on just to give me some life into my skin before I go work out. It's just, it's great. I really love this and I do have more oily skin. One thing that I totally forgot about because I've been out of like the industry with like working with clients and stuff for so long now. I think 2015 is when I stopped working at Sephora. When your face is oily, it actually means that your skin is actually dry. So you want to hydrate your skin as much as possible because your body is now overcompensating for the lack of oil in your skin. So when you have excess oil, it means that you actually need to be hydrated more. So I always forget about that. So adding more like hydration serums and like drinking more water, and then using oil, all of it together is gonna help your oiliness in general. So I am definitely more on the oily side, but I have been finding, maybe it's with age, it's starting to come down a little bit. I find that by the end of the day, my skin isn't looking like so grease ball. Like, I mean, I'm oily, but it's just not too crazy. So anyway, that's good. I'm excited about that, but maybe it means I'm drying out. I don't know. Wanted to share some hair stuff that I've been using since I went back brighter blonde, which let me just say, I have felt so much more myself. Like I feel so good with this hair color. I feel bright blonde. And it's, you, the funny thing is, is that this is nowhere near the brightest blonde that I've ever been. But I think just having my roots grown out for so long, and then taking my extensions out, like I just felt like my hair was so dark. So since going back brighter and having this length of hair, this is just like, I just feel so myself. Because I went blonder, I started to implement my purple shampoo again, just a little bit. I'm, I'm not a purple shampoo whore like I used to be. I used to use it every time I wash my hair. That will actually dull your hair out because it's it's a purple color. It tones it tones it makes it ashier, which then makes your hair um, lackluster. So keep that in mind if you are a bright blonde. But one of my favorites, I have like four go to favorites that I kind of would like implement into my routine. But this is the one that I I think it's it's about halfway full. Um, this was left over from like last summer. This is the Olaplex uh, purple shampoo. And I really like this. You need the tiniest bit, you don't need much. I put a little bit into my palm, add some water, and then I froth it up and then I apply it to my hair. I kind of lather it up for about a minute and let it sit on there for a minute while I'm like washing it and stuff. And then I rinse it out. I also use a regular shampoo first before going in with this because then I don't need to use as much of this. Um, but I've been really liking it. I feel like I don't really need to use it that much. I, in fact, did not use that today. My hair still feels like bright and icy and like not too brassy or anything. So um, I've just been using it sparingly and it helps and it's just, it's great. I love it. And it's been fun to like use those products again because it's been a while since I've since I've had to use them. But then I told you guys recently that I was on the hunt for a new texture spray. Um, I wanted to give you an update on that. I've been using the Amika Undone Volume and Matte Texture Spray. Um, I'm kind of undecided on it and I'm about out, so I need to try another one because I just got the little sample size. It's nice, but I feel like it doesn't give me enough grit. This was recommended by you guys. Um, so if there's another one that you guys use that you enjoy, let me know because I need I need to be able to like, you know, and it kind of helps, but it is very lightweight. So if you want a texture spray, but you don't want as much grit, 
you'd probably like this. So try it out. It was like eight bucks for the little guy. Yeah, just wanted to give you an update on the texture spray situation. Next, I've been loving OPI, put it in neutral again. So I have been getting no chip manicures for about a year now. Prior to that, I just would do regular manicures like just with normal nail polish, but my nails just love to break. So I stopped doing that. Recently, it was a few months ago, um, my nails broke off because I normally go to the same lady, but I went to two other people because I couldn't get in with her and then my nails broke off. So now we're trying to grow the nails back out, but they just keep wanting a break. But anyway, in between my appointments, if my no chip comes off, I've been using this at home along with a nail strengthener from OPI. So the color that I normally do is put it in neutral. This is the color I wore on my wedding day. It's just such a good classic color. I do two to three coats depending on the day. Um, when they're shorter, I do less coats because I just feel like when the nail polish builds up too much, it then it peels off very easily. So um, yeah, I just, I love this color. It's such a classic. It's so funny. I planned on having this on my nails today, but um, I went and got my nails done this morning and I don't know what came over me, but I got in the car and I was like, I think I want to do hot pink. I'm, this is so out of my comfort zone. I don't know what came over me. I don't know what made me decide this, but I think I'm probably going to wake up tomorrow and be like, what did you do? It's no big deal. I just, I love my put it in neutral. And by the way, when I go, I usually get the color Muse. It literally looks just like this. It's identical, um, but they don't have no chip OPI. They have either CND or they have the Luxo nail polishes. So that's usually what I get. It looks just like put it in neutral, so. Oh, balls. Also, if you're interested in the color that I have on now, I'll link it down below. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but once I see it on their website, I'll remember it when I see it. I just can't remember it now. So I'll link it down below in case you are curious. So I get asked about this vase all the time. Every time I post a picture of my flowers, someone asks me about this vase. So I thought that I would share it here on YouTube because I bet you would want to know too. So you probably saw this in my home decor video where I show like all the flower arrangements that I did and stuff. Um, this is one of my favorite vases and it really wasn't that expensive for especially where I bought it from. So I got this from CB2 and you can see it in comparison to my hand. So it's not like too big, but it's not too small. It's this like ribbed glass vase and I think it was like $15. So I feel like for CB2, cause I feel like CB2 can be kind of expensive. It really wasn't that bad. And it's a nice thick glass vase, very durable very beautiful and I usually put this on my coffee table with flowers so um yeah I thought that I would share this because every time I show flowers in this vase I get asked all the time on Instagram where's the vase from so I thought I'd let you know um Amazon has some that are similar but I feel like they have the same price point too so I'd rather get nicer quality so yeah Anyway, another home decor thing that I've been loving, which you also saw in that video, are these hand towels from William Sonoma. I've got the lemon ones and then these like blue flower ones. And these are just so cheerful and just so, so springy summery. I just love these so much. I got asked if I actually use them. <laughs> um, I'll maybe like wipe my clean hands on them just a little bit, but I personally like them for just the decor. Um, I have other hand towels in there from Amazon that I use all the time, like for like wiping down dishes and like drying my hands and stuff. But these are such nice quality. They're like thick linen and they're just, they're just so beautiful. And going forward, I'm just going to get my towels from William Sonoma because the quality of those are so nice. The print, everything about them is just so high quality. I ordered a pair of hand towels from Amazon recently, um, similar price point, and they were dog shit. Like they, they were not good. Um, the texture of them like gave me the chills. I'm like very picky with fabrics and stuff and they were not it. So going forward, I'm just going to stick to William Sonoma because these did not let me down. They were, they're really nice. Moving on to fashion. I wanted to show you this top, which you've seen me wear. I've worn this multiple times on Instagram. This is the shirt that I wore in my decorate video. This shirt makes me feel like all that in a bag of chips. I am obsessed with this. This is from the, um, man, I do not know how to say this brand name. Is it Aster? 
ASTR, I don't know. Um, it's like this corset top with a poofy sleeve. I've just been all about the poofy sleeves lately. I just feel like they're so flattering. The only thing that I do not like about this top is that my boobies, I just, I don't like showing off my boobs so much, which is so funny because a lot of the tops that I have show off my boobs. And the reason why is because I like those types of tops. I like top, like I like, I love the way that this looks. It's just so feminine and girly and just like, you know what I mean? I love everything about this, but I'm just uncomfortable showing my boobs all the time. I'm trying to get over it because the top is just so freaking cute and I just love it, so I'm just showing off my boobs even though I don't really wanna show off my boobs because it's just like, what am I supposed to do? They're here, They're I've got boobies, it is what it is. And I've been finding that I like not wearing a bra because then they're not as in your face, but then they're saggy. So it's like, what do I, I don't know. It's my, it's a predicament. Anyway, um, I've been loving this. I got this in a medium. I love it with baggy jeans. It's just so cute. Um, the back looks like this, by the way. It has like some nice stretch and a zipper. Pretty much everything from this brand right now has just been giving me so much life. I've been posting on my like to know it all the time recently, by the way. Um, every day, at least. I've been posting at least once, sometimes upwards of like four times a day, just giving you guys pictures of like my favorite products that I own and also giving you inspiration for things that I like or things that are on my wish list. And I did a whole roundup of spring tops over there. And a lot of them are from this brand. And just everything that this brand has is just so freaking cute. It's just this vibe. And there's just like different prints and different every, I, I just love this brand so much. Um, so anyways, uh, let me know if you guys want a summer top haul because I got some really cute tops. Um, over the last like month or two that I pretty much got them just for like filming videos because honestly, like when I go out and about, I am a leggings and oversized t-shirt kind of girl. It's just like my go-to because if I'm getting ready to like do something, it's the thing that I'm doing is like filming a video. Like I don't really go anywhere or doing it, do anything. Um, but yeah, so let me know if you want like a haul of like all of the cute tops that I got because I got a lot from this brand that are super freaking cute. Um, and I can give you some like summer outfit inspo. So let me know. I wanted to show you guys my jewelry stack that I've been wearing because I've been wearing this non stop and I just feel so cute in it so um you guys know I love Miranda Fry it's a mix of Miranda Fry and this other brand let me actually zoom in here so um these are the Drew Huggies that I'm obsessed with I am an affiliate with Miranda Fry if you use my code Brianna Fox at checkout you can get 10% off sometimes they have like random sales where they'll do like a random 20% off and stuff so if you're following me on Instagram I always update you on that um but just so you know I am an affiliate so I will get commission from the code if you use it just letting you know um anyways these are the Drew Huggies. I love these. This is what I'll wear when I'm like a little bit more dressed up or if I have my makeup on and I'm wearing like a hoodie or like a t-shirt, um, I'll still wear these as long as I'm like made up. But if I don't have on makeup, I feel like I'm a little too overdone. I don't know. Um, but yeah, these are the Drew Huggies. And then this is the Jody ear cuff. I'm obsessed with this. Every time I have on this earring, someone asks me about it. This goes into this hole here, and then this is not pierced. This is just a cuff that goes around my ear, and then it's connected by the chain. So this is also Miranda Fry. And then over here, oh, I forgot the name of this one, but I'll put it down below. It's just this little dangly one here. Love that. And then this cuff is not from Miranda Fry. This is from Lily Clasp. I'll link this down below as well. This is also a cuff that comes off, but I just have been loving this stack. The only thing that I've been like swapping out are the Drew Huggies and I'll do the Maxwell hoops, which are just, it's basically looks just like this, just without the dangle looks just like that. But anyways, I have just been loving this earring combination lately. I feel like it really kind of like amps up my look. I've also been wearing this necklace. I'll link it down below as well. I feel like I went through a phase where I like 
it was when I discovered Miranda Fry um, and I was wearing it all the time. And then I went through a phase where I was just like, I'm tired of getting like dressed up and like looking cute just in general. So I just never wore jewelry there for like a year. And now I'm back at it again. Like I want to wear necklaces and bracelets and they're coming out with inklets. And like, I've been having so much fun, especially like even just like wearing this to the gym. I feel like all that in a bag of chips because I've got this going on on my ears, but it's also not too overboard either. So. Anyways, I'll link all those down below. Don't forget about the discount code and stay tuned on Instagram because sometimes they'll randomly have sales. So next I wanted to share the book that I have been reading. I'm not done with it yet, but I am almost done. Um, and I've just been really loving the vibe of it. So this is The Summer I Turned Pretty. This is also a show on Amazon. They made a show out of the book, um, but I've just been really loving this. It's a coming of age, young adult book it's about this girl her name is belly and her experience with going to this beach house that her family would go to with another family and it shares her experiences from like age 11 and onward on to i think she's like 15 or 16 in, in present time during the book and it's about like her love interest and it just kind of like brought me back to that age and just um just how you like think about things at that age like she would describe instances where like a boy would do something or say something and just like how it would make her feel and like it just i don't know i don't know it would just brought like nostalgia to me and even though like we never had like a beach house that we would go to and i never knew anybody that had a beach house but just just those feelings of like just summertime and like if you ever like romanticize summertime and you think about like a beach house on the on on the beach um if you think about like that sort of vibe that is what this is it just gives all of those summer feels i am about done i think i only have like 80 pages left i just i don't know i can't wait to watch the show it gave me all the summer feels um tomorrow i'm actually going and getting a few more summery books because a lot of the books that i have aren't very summery um and a lot of the books I have are like thrillers and stuff. So I've been in the mood for just more stuff like this, more fluff, more like either young adult or like romantic, um, just like summery beachy type of vibes. So tomorrow I'm gonna go and pick up some more books because I've been wanting more of this in my life. So I thought I'd share this. I've been really liking it. It's nothing crazy. It's just very like warm fuzzy feels. I don't know how, to, how else to describe it. So yeah, check it out if you haven't read it yet. Also, I think that there's two more books in this series. I'll have to read those two um, when I'm done. But uh, yeah, there's, it's a series. Last but not least, this is so random. So random. But when I'm cooking in my kitchen, I'll put on French cooking music radio on Pandora. I just love listening to it. It makes me feel like I am a chef in France, even though I'm just uh, cooking uh, burgers on the grill. But anyway, this song came up when one day when I was cooking and I was like, what is this song? It's like making me emotional and it's in French. I don't understand. Um, <laughs> but everything about it, I just loved it. So I took a picture of it and then I just downloaded this girl's whole album. It's this random album from 2002. I have never heard of it before, but this woman is like famous, obviously. Her name is Carla Bruni and it's this album. I'm not even gonna try to say it. Okay, can you please focus? And it's the first song in this album that like caught my attention. I've been listening to it on repeat for weeks. I'm obsessed with it. And I can almost speak French now. Like so good, like fantastic. So I've been listening to that on repeat. And then when I downloaded her album, I fell in love with Raphael. fan freaking tastic and I feel like I've been living under a rock. And then I was like, you know, there's so many more artists out there that like I don't know about because I just been listening to English. She's fantastic, I love her. Anyway, I believe that that concludes everything for this video. I know that was so random. I had makeup, hair, home decor, outfits, skincare, music, um, and, about, and my book. Um, lots of random favorites. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know everything that you've been loving down below in the comment section. I love getting ideas from you guys. Um, let me know some like summer book ideas because I believe that the day that this video goes up, I will actually be going shopping for those books. So leave your summer recommendations down below. 
Um, and that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Bye.